everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. I know you guys have been on the edge of your seat ever since our Tortilla Joe's video waiting for part two <laughs> of our downtown Disney adventure. I know you waited a whole 48 hours for this video. I think it's worth it. We went to the <laughs> Disney home store for the very first yeah. time. We've been mourning the loss of D Street. We finally mm. stepped foot into that store and we looked for some dog goodies and just saw if there's any new Disney stuff. We also went to Marceline's finally because you know we had to get a sweet treat. Yeah, some sweet treats from Disneyland that she's never had before. And she bought something. Yeah, so you're gonna have to watch if you wanna see what I, I bought this time. Yeah, it's very predictable. <laughs> Come with us on this adventure. to the Disney home store. Hopefully there's not a line today. I was gonna say let's go to Marceline's but I'm so full cool. yeah. right now that that'll have to wait. Whoa. Whoa I know. Did that always go that high? I don't know. But it like got me wet. It felt good. It's not doing it anymore. I was gonna say of course you say that and then it stops. <laughs> it felt like world of color. I'll be honest, I'm kind of conflicted about the Disney Home Store because it replaced one of my favorite stores in all of downtown Disney, which was D Street, and had all the Marvel and Star Wars and Vinylmations. And yeah, I was gonna say, hello, the Vinylmations. That was like the best part of D Street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now Vinylmations aren't even a thing, and neither is D Street. They replaced it to the Home Store. I don't think I've ever actually been in this store since they've remodeled it. Yeah, I don't think I have either. And it's been like a few years since they remodeled it, so. I think they have a lot of dog stuff though, so yeah. that's got me excited. Like D Street was so like hip and cool and street, and I feel like like all those kids that used to go there have grown up and now they're buying dog <laughs> dishes and aprons with Mickey Mouse's head on it. Me, them. you're describing me. <laughs> I would gladly buy some Vinylmation if that was still a thing. Do you guys yeah. know what Vinylmation is? Leave it in the comment down below if you're still if you still love vinyl nations and think that Disney should bring them back. I love the park stars. They gotta bring those yeah, back. Those were the best. One more thing about vinyl nations. I think the reason why I liked them so much, it was the first real like blind mystery box type of thing that I ever really got into. Oh, that's what got you hooked. Yeah, so I was just thinking about it and I it was like the thrill, the thrill of the chase. Sometimes I would buy like five of them and I'd get all of the same one and it would be so disappointing. <laughs> But I still miss it, but yeah, that's definitely why I think yeah. I love blind bags. I, I already see a lot of stuff that like, we might need for Kitra's quarantine kitchen. Do you think because we waited in line, like that m makes us more like... Like I have to buy yeah. like, at least one thing, yeah. I feel like guilty if I don't buy something, you know? It's like Which the is... whole like limited life, like, you know, like there's a line, oh, you're, you're like more rabid to get in there. Yeah, well said. All right, you guys may go right ahead in. Great, thank you. Well, we could have used these for making um, the beignets. beignets, yeah. No, we, we were using the wrong attachment, Peter, so we couldn't have used that. What did you find? It's like a Jungle Cruise cookie dish or something. I've never oh seen God. that before. That is new, I think. I've never seen that. Does it have anything else? Or I guess this is the other side right there. Huh. Yeah, it's just the same guy on both sides. <laughs> yeah. He's our skipper. That's cool. I actually really like that. I don't think we need it, but it is cool. Can you buy this Big D? I don't think you can. They never want to sell me big things on the walls. If you were John Stamos, you could buy the Big D. <laughs> He's got the Big D in his backyard. Yeah. Here's another thing we could have used. <laughs> yeah, a rolling pin. As you guys remember from our beignet video, I just used a bottle of wine. And that, like, hurt a lot of people's hearts. So I actually, someone sent me a rolling pin. Shout out to you, Pharrell. Thank you so much. But this one is a nice one too. You never have too many rolling pins, right? It has like mini and cherries on it. Oh look, 
There's my secret ingredient that I put in the beignets. <laughs> Oh my god! I could have like, reached in there and I'm going... We forgot the Disney magic. Hold on. Now you gotta like do a special effect where it's like pixie dust going... I feel like we have to get this. <laughs> it's too big though. It's like It's way huge. too big. Yeah. But think of all the magic that we can keep in there. We have like an endless supply of magic. Oh, they got another one that has magic as an ingredient. Happiness and love, Peter. Those are all the secret ingredients to life. Who knew? I see a tea towel that I need. Or what are they called? Like a hand towel? Because this is my mood all the time. <laughs> Hangry. And I think the other one says, mine, 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 mine. Perfect. That is perfect for you. <laughs> Always hangry. During this quarantine, everybody's doing puzzles. They have a bunch of Disney puzzles here. I like this one. This is of that same style that just recently came out. And here's the oh, map wow. of Disneyland Park. Wait, does that have Galaxy's Edge in it? No, it doesn't. Oh, darn. Right? Yeah, no. No, it doesn't. I really like this one. Oh yeah, the th it's a three pack. It has three different of the retro posters. This, I feel like, once we complete them, like that would be very beautiful. Like I've never framed a puzzle before, but I feel like that'd be like something that I would. Oh, Space Mountain, that's cool. You're not a puzzle person though. We've tried to do puzzles and she gets frustrated. She like, like, you know when someone flips the table, that's like her. Well, I got really excited because no more perfect time to do a puzzle, right? Than the present. So we bought a Yoda puzzle and it's literally all green. It's just different colors of green. It was too hard. So I think we need more of like a beginner's type of puzzle and then maybe I'll enjoy it more. <laughs> and of course they have your fix of baby Yoda, the child. We found your section. Yeah, this is the whole reason why I wanted to come in here to be honest. Gizmo needs that. He does, and that looks smaller. Cause the spirit jersey we got him was just a little bit too big. <laughs> like I really love that one. Yeah, the classic Disneyland. Yeah, and that one. They even have like hand knit sweaters. How much are those? Oh, 55, 55 bucks. 55 dollars. Wow. Crazy. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yes, they have a doggy squeeze toy for the Haunted Mansion. Do you think, do you think Pixel would wear Mickey ears like that? No. Oh, I don't yeah. think she would. They have a whole section of spirit jerseys and they have that spirit jersey that we found. Oh, is it not discounted here? No. Crazy. We, got, we, we got paid. This for like $8. <gasps> this looks so nice! Kismo, do you like your discount spirit jersey? Yeah, they got all different colors. Yeah, I love this one. I love like the sparkles. They even have rose gold ears for dogs. <laughs> and they got dog collars too. So they got like a droid dog collar. <gasps> look, these look like lightsabers. We could get a red one for Gizmo and a blue one for Pixel. Oh, is that what they're trying to, oh yeah it is, right? Like look at that, that's yeah. like the saber handle and it comes. I like that. Hmm. I mean, once you put it on, you wouldn't know what it was, but I like the idea behind it. <laughs> Funny, they got all this like 2020 merchandise over here. Nobody's gonna buy you. No one likes 2020. So I think I'm gonna get it, and they do do returns, so that's good. You have a yeah, within a month. Yeah. So if it doesn't fit or whatever, I, I'm sure we'll be back and I can return it. Oh, look at these. These are all like the little name tags you put on your desk. I love the like. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Yeah, I feel like I need that for my desk. You do. That's our song. It is. Aww. We came all the way to downtown Disney just to buy a gizmo a present. <laughs> I always end up buying my dog's things and not me. <laughs> I think he's gonna love it though. Doggy mom. Hashtag dog mom. Another restaurant that is reopened today is Ballast Point, which is a brewery and kitchen. I still have never eaten there. I hear it's pretty good though. Yeah, I feel like when we come back next time, this this will be the spot. Yeah. Grab a delicious brew and some good food, hopefully. For Marceline's, it looks like they're still doing a virtual queue. I understand it's probably one of the more popular places here. So we're 
gonna give them our number and hopefully the wait isn't too long. Cause I need my sweet treats. So it's gonna be an hour wait. So for the time we're gonna go into the dress shop because she thinks there's something in there that she might Yeah, have. and it's not a dress. What is it? I don't know. It's also worth pointing out when we were here on opening day, they didn't have these umbrellas here. So it was yeah, like, they didn't have hardly yeah, it was brutal in the sun. I got like a sunburn. So the newest store to open here at Downtown Disney is California Soul. This is, they sell shoes and sandals. I think they're replacing a, there was like a sandal place that was here previously. Yeah, so it looks like they have a little bit more than just sandals like they used to have. And also a little bit of Disney as well. Still a boring store. Why why does Disney Spring get all the cool stores and we get California Soul? What is going on? What? You won't believe the sandals. Are they amazing? It's just a sandal store. So we don't gotta go check it out once we're done <laughs> no. here. They sell a lot of lounge flies here. One in particular I've had my eye on for quite some time. This Kermit the Frog! How cool is that? You need it. It's awesome. I love how bright it is. I love his little eyes. Yep. I love that. Getting it! Mission accomplished. <laughs> I could sleep easy now. The second mission. Yeah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> no okay. more. I'm not going to buy anything else. It's your turn to buy something. Let's go to World of yeah, Disney. Yeah, let's go to World of Disney and see if there's anything new. I'm guessing there isn't, but... Yeah, there could be. Uh, we're here. We drove all the way here. We made a little world. Just, they don't have a virtual queue like they did on opening day. But the line is kind of long. I, I, I mean, obviously not nearly as long as we waited. But it's crazy to see that people are still excited to go to the World of Disney. This line's moving really fast. I think we only waited in line for like five minutes. Oh, a fork, a forky <laughs> line fly. Oh my god. Oh, and his like eyes probably jiggle yeah. around. This is a little bit bigger of a, a size. I saw, I think at Disney World right now, they have the little pet things that you put on your shoulder and they came out with a Baby Yoda one. I was hoping they would have it here, but I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, I don't see it here anywhere. They got a ton of porgs though. So if you want a porg on your shoulder, right here is the place to go. I think they only <laughs> still have medium and large oh. face masks. No extra large, you can pre-order them online. Turns out they are very limited on the masks that they have. They've been selling out and they're completely out of the child mask. Of course, you could order it online. They have a lot of mediums and they recommend the mediums are for kids. As expected, there wasn't that much new merchandise in there since the last time we were there. We were here a few weeks ago on opening day. So check out that video if you want to see some new stuff inside a world of Disney. It was also kind of like really uncomfortably crowded in there as opposed to the last time we were here. I mean, I I'm guessing it was the same amount of people, but they were just kind of like... Yeah, it didn't seem they were like... They weren't honoring social distancing. Yeah, people were just like all up in my space, so we got the heck out of there. Just in case you guys are wondering what Peter's Starbucks favorite drink is, it's what is it? Well, it's usually a frappuccino, but I've been getting addicted to the, the pink drink. A lot of people actually call it the pinkity drinkity. So next time we order it, you gotta say that. And they'll know exactly what you're talking about. No? Okay. Now just waiting for our text from Marceline so we can get some candy. Did you guys get a text? Yeah. Okay, yeah. what's the name? Uh, Kitra Remit or Kitra Har. Maria too. Yep. What are we gonna get, Peter? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like all this package stuff you can find in like World of Disney and stuff. So let's look at the glass counter thing. Seems like stuff here, once it sells out, it sells out for the day. I was really hoping to get a Rice Krispie Treat. Unfortunately, they don't have any left. Everything is pre-packaged. They have a lot of apples, a lot of cookies, that sort of thing. They do have the churro toffee. I like the churro toffee. Should we get that? Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that and maybe another thing. I don't know if I've ever had a Disneyland apple before. Should I get one? Or are they... You, mu you must have had a Disneyland apple. I don't apple. think I have. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna get one of those apple pie apples, please. I wanted that churro toffee bite, but it's so full from that burrito at Tortilla Joe's, <laughs> so just couldn't do it. She got the apple, we're gonna go home. Yeah, I'm full too, but maybe by the time, it takes about an hour to drive home, so I'm hoping by the time I get home, I'll be hungry for my 
delicious looking apple. Mitchell, are you excited that we're home? Hi. We got a present for you. Is every video ending now just gonna be us coming home and putting clothes on our dogs? I mean, if we keep on buying stuff for them. I like this trend is what I'm saying. I have a feeling this might be too small. We decided to get the extra small instead of the small. Did they have a small? No, I didn't see one actually. This was like the only, the smallest size they had. I'm just wondering. So what do you think? I don't know. I can't tell. Does it look too tight? Too small? I mean, around the neck, I feel like it yeah. looks a little. But like, other than that, like, let's see the back of it. He sure looks cute. Small but, but mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> that, that describes him. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm sorry. We'll have to go back and get you a different size. You're still small, but mischievous. What about you? Do you need... Can you fit into that? <laughs> <laughs> Pixel! She does not like that at all. She's so unhappy. Pixel! I'm so excited to try this. One of my first jobs was at Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory and I used to make caramel apples every day. And this one is called an apple pie apple and I think what it is is just caramel, white chocolate, like cinnamon sugar, and then like a graham cracker crust. I've never actually had one of the apples from Disney before so I figure go all out with my first one. Yeah. And you're just gonna eat it on the stick, right? I'm just gonna eat it on the stick. I wanted to slice it up and cut it, but Peter wants me to eat it like this for more yeah. of a dramatic effect. Although at Epcot, they have this thing where they put the apple in and it goes and it cuts into like pieces. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Go for it. I'm so excited. Are you sure you don't want any, Peter? No, I'm, I'm okay. full. This is so good. How come nobody told me about these? <laughs> I mean, you should have known. Everybody buys the, the apples. The apple is so juicy. I was kind of afraid. I mean, I know that things are like prepared daily there, but I was kind of afraid that this would be stale. It is not stale. It is delicious. The apple is crisp and juicy. I feel like this is gonna be something that I get all the time now. I have to try all the flavors of apples. <laughs> I'm always like afraid when we're in the park, like of how messy and hard it would be to eat an apple, but it can be done, people. I'm here <laughs> living proof that you it can be done. This is so, so good. Five out of five, obviously. I recommend the apples. Try the apples. <laughs> <laughs> what is this outro? I don't know. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed our adventure to Downtown Disney today, make sure to check out some other adventures when we go to Downtown Disney. Yeah, right over there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.